Well, hello there. I know it's been a while. <laughs> My name is Georgie Newby. I'm a flower farmer and florist based between fashionable Bruton and up and coming Wincanton here in not very sunny today, Somerset in southwest England. And um, I'm sorry I haven't been around for a week, but uh, it's half term. Uh, I don't know what you call half term in America and Australia, but in England here, we call the break in the middle of the term half term. So I've been having some family time, uh, but um, I've been getting messages, very sweet emails and messages saying, where are you? We miss you on the YouTube. So um, I thought I'd jump ahead. I've got some ideas for things that we're going to talk about over the next few weeks. Um, and I thought since there's nobody here for 10 minutes, I'll quickly make a YouTube clip. Um, and today I get to talk about my studio, what I have in it and how I organise it and uh, what, how we manage it. Because like I, I thought you might like to see. Anyway, um, if you enjoy these clips, then please do subscribe. There's a subscription button somewhere. There's a bell icon which you can click and we'll tell you when our next clips are coming up. And if you find the tips and tricks useful, then please do buy me a coffee. There is a link in the blurb about each clip that you can click on and it'll take you through. Obviously, you're not buying me a real coffee, but it's just a small contribution that supports the making of these clips, which for which I'm very grateful. So thank you very much. Right. Enough of this banging on. Uh, first of all, let's talk about the vases. This is a really great shelfie, I think. And um, and in fact, I'm going to turn off the thing and I'm going to turn it around so you can see the whole thing. Uh, so hold on a second. First of all, just to amuse you, this wine box with a seed tray and a pot on top is my very high tech filming kit. If I lean my phone against the pot on the top, it's the right height to film <laughs> film me when I'm talking to you. There you go. That's how that's how lo-fi we are. And if I draw back then you'll see the whole shelfie. And um, I have a really big collection of vases and glass and bottles and uh, all sorts of bits and pieces. I love this collection down here, all the constant spry vases. There's one missing. Can you see the big gap? That's because it's out. <laughs> it's been out uh, being filmed somewhere on one of those clips that I made recently about making big daily arrangements for a friend's house that was being filmed. Anyway, it's back and it needs to go back in its place. And in the um, Delford, Delford uh, compost bag are seed heads of wild calendula, not calendula, wild Canterbury bells, um, which my mother has given me uh, that's this is not sophisticated cleaned seed <laughs> I have to just shake it all and then there'll be seed I can sow um, what else have we got on the shelf uh, lots of pens a few of my books which are to hand if I need them for one thing or another um, I love the green vases up there they were they belonged to um, a lady who lived up the road called Lady Dunphy and she lived in Round Hill Grange, which is now part of the uh, Roth Bar and Grill House and Worth um, collection of properties around here. But uh, she was an extraordinary old lady. And uh, when she died, her lovely uh, nephew and niece-in-law said that I could go and have a look in the vase cupboard and see if there's anything I liked. And I did love that collection of green vases so they are hers and then I have lots of bits and pieces here particular nice one I think this is 1920s this little one here let's get her down um move it over look I don't use this because it's too precious but I love the detail of it it's but it's really quite fragile um but they're water lilies and little ducklings, anyway, it's sweet. And this vase, I love this, isn't really a vase, it's a water cooler, and I got that. That's a souvenir from a trip to Villefranche en Rouergue, excuse my French, 
uh, with a very old friend, Paul Williamson, and some other friends in about 1989, I should think. Anyway, I'm good at keeping things forever and ever and ever. So enough of the vases. We then move down and this is where you see the reality of it all. There are my, I have a pair of butler sinks, which are really useful in front of that window. And that window is also really useful because it means that the light comes across the videos really nicely. Um, very handy watering cans. One, obviously, with a fine rose. And one with a less fine rose, because then we have something for every occasion. Um, very useful. I love this tin thing. Uh, I can make very large arrangements in that. That was I used that for that arrangement for my friend having her um, having her house filmed the other day. And then the beginnings of the dried, all of which hang around gathering dust until wreath making time, which happens quite soon. Um, you can book a place on some of my wreath making workshops if you like, uh, because. Um, that's always they're always really fun and I love to show people how to do it we make willow wreaths and fully moss wreaths 100% biodegradable everything gathered foraged including these uh, dried bits very important the temperature gauge <laughs> because in the summer it gets really hot and I like to be able to prove it on my Instagram feed um, other people have a tool shed I do have a tool shed, but I tend to keep the tools here because then they're to hand and I don't have to go rootling around for them. Right, I'm gonna turn around. So facing down this end of the room, oh yeah, starting off, <laughs> a box, this is um, freshly arrived today, my ranunculus and anemone uh, corms and claws. If you like, I have a ranunculus and an enemy demo coming up um, and you can book a place via my website. Sometimes people really struggle to grow ranunculus and anemones and I have very strong theories as to why and good ways to make sure you have success. So do join me there if you would like. And I also have out the seeds because at this time of year, it's really worth, <laughs> as you can see, I have a few. <laughs> I like to keep them alphabetically, or at least they're supposed to be alphabetical. But I can tell you now, when I go through this, this is not going to be alphabetical. It'll just be shoved in any old time. But it's a really good idea, I think, now at this time of year. It's October the 26th. I'm going to go through the seeds that I've still got so that I can make a list of what I need to order for next year. Um, on the other side, look, more dried bits for my wreathing. And... Very useful bale arm trays, those blue trays. Um, anybody who does event forestry will tell you that a bale arm tray is very handy. And I always have heaps of raffia everywhere because I use it all the time. Then my useful store shelf full of all sorts of bits, brown paper. That really, everything you need for a brown paper package tied up with string. Every different gauge of string you could need. And this is a really useful little dispensing arrangement I have for my cello, get these out of the way. I have my cello here, and then I have my paper up here. And that makes, it's easy to grab and go. Nice paper tape guns, always useful. If you ever need a pair of gloves, this is the heap of pairs of gloves, uh, and many little hand tools, which are always here. This, <laughs> look at the writing. Do not drink. This is really cheap apple cordial and we put it on cotton and tie the cotton to the electric fence to, so that the deer come and try and lick the taste of the apple. They don't, they get a shock and then they don't come back. It kind of works, kind of. Um, I love the ribbon dispenser, but it's kind of hidden behind all the, look, <laughs> dried studies. Uh, but anyway, the ribbon dispenser is here. And this, for me, very important. I don't know whether it'll come out the right way around, but it's good old Julian of Norwich. All will be well and all will be well. 
Oh no, it's not. It's God bless the God the first garden made in here. The other one I love, which I have somewhere else, is all will be well and all will be well and all manner of things will be well. And then we have the space down here, and this is all the stuff that we use for our big workshops. There's always a bicycle. I didn't opt. I do not ask for the bicycle to be here. If you order books from us, then Fabrizio puts them in those big saddlebags and cycles them into the post office in Wincanton. Um, and then in the summer when we have workshops, these doors open up. So we, and that's the sail that we have the workshops under. Um, and that will come down in the next few days and get packed away for the winter. Uh, right, a bit more, take you into the office. On the way, I do like this corner with a stepladder. I use the stepladder when I'm teaching uh, and the sticky tape is on it because I put a great big flip chart on there and use that for my flip chart holder. And there's my useful clock so I can see what time it is. And I love this old picture, which came from I know not where, of a river running through it. It's very pretty. All the doors have on air, quiet, written on them, um, permanently. <laughs> which means, doesn't mean that we're on air. Well, it means that I'm recording. I'm supposed to turn them off. Anyway, we go through here. And here we have the office, which is looking astonishingly tidy <laughs> because I need all this floor space for my dahlia tubers when they get dug up in the next week or so. But this is the hub of the business. This is where all the brain work goes. There's my Flower Farmer's Year calendar on the right. It's put in a place that I can see it from my desk so I can at a glance tell what I'm doing. Um, the collection of gardening books and flowering books and all of that over there, along with a box of wine and some tonic, because we really know how to entertain ourselves. Uh, beyond the ladder, all the stuff, the storage is on the mezzanine. So we have lots of um, bits and pieces up there, particularly that green mesh, very useful to make little tunnels in the spring. And all the cardboard, all the boxes are at the top. Um, and then, <laughs> Oh yeah, it's always not quite always immaculate. There, <laughs> there you go. That's how not to do it. No, I, go th I do go through this every year and throw everything away. And the Oasis box <laughs> is not full of floral foam, although I have been as guilty of using floral foam as the next person in my time, but I've given it up. But still, useful box for putting things in. There's the sewing machine for the unlikely event. In the unlikely event, I suddenly start sewing. Um, and the house is the other side of the yard, you see? With And I need to go and rearrange those pots. There is my trusty trolley out there next to the car. Um, and there, my friends, we have it. The trolley is called the Handy, and I got it online. And the angry face is made by Fabrizio. He's an artist at heart. Uh, next to the angry face, next to the tap, perhaps speci especially so we don't use too much, waste any water. And then we go back into the studio and just a final fling up here. There's an angry face outside and a very stern face inside. And that was painted by my cousin Lennox Hanney, who um, I was very, very fond of. And so when he died, various bits and pieces belonging to him came here. And this lady keeps an eye on us all. We, I, she's often in my photographs um, looking down on us as we work. There we are. Oh, one more thing. Of course, where is Tea Cake the Border? There is Tea Cake the Border in her snuggly little bed. She's always with me in here. And if you're wondering where to keep all your pots and useful things, I keep them under my table. I've got another potting shed full of more, but these are the ones that get used all the time. I have a regular supply of them. Always keep them in, keep handy quantity in here, especially when I'm about to start potting up my ranunculus and anemones or sowing seeds. This table's brilliant because I can 
lay out loads and loads and loads of trays and do a lot at once. It's much easier. I'm not fiddling around doing small things. I kind of get a load done. And for the same reason, along with one, two, three, four pairs of Fabrizio's Wellingtons here. Four pairs. Who needs four pairs of boots? I always have an open bag of compost to hand. And I always use peat-free Silver Grow because we cannot afford to use peat-based compost. We must use something else. So peat-free compost is the way forward. So there you are, a little tour of my, of my studio. I have been making a great big long film of the Flower Farmer's Year in still photographs, rather beautiful. Um, which will probably be my next thing to post, but I've got to work out how to add music. And as you know, I am very low fire at all of this, so we'll see how we go. But anyway, meanwhile, um, uh, thanks very much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, please do subscribe, click the bell icon, and we'll tell you when we've got more new clips coming out. And if you found any tips and tricks are handy in this clip, then please do buy me a coffee. Thanks for visiting. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.